and welcome to this demonstration of our self-sealing fitting kit with an internal thread. These are available in different sizes and of course they will allow you to connect uh, all sorts of fittings to them uh, whether it be fluid or air type fittings. So for the demonstration I'm going to use this plastic container with a hard plastic lid. Now equally you can use a kit on, on metals, aluminium, steel etc. So first thing you do is have them open the kit. You'll see it consists of five pieces. Now you have the main outlet, O-ring seal, special pressure washer which I'll explain about shortly, the lock nut and a cutter. Now the cutter is used solely for soft materials such as silicon and rubber hoses so we don't need that so we'll put that to one side. Now in order to say, make the, the connection with the vessel or, or trunking or piping that you're going to connect to, we need to create the hole to allow this to, to fit. Now the best way to do that is using a, a drill bit to fit the o-ring to the drill bit. Now some of these o-rings can be quite large depending on the application so if you don't have a standard drill bit don't worry. These step cutters are very useful too and they come in metric sizes same as the o-rings. So simply find one that's Nice snug fit. One of the faces there. It shouldn't fall off, but likewise you shouldn't have to force it on. So having determined the size, you create the hole. Having made sure that both sides of the, the hole are nice and clean, no jagged edges, no swarf or debris. And then simply assemble the kit. So in order to do that, the takeoff goes on first from the inside. You put the o-ring on, always put the o-ring on the outside, never on the inside of the fitting. Now the pressure washer has two faces, this special stepped inner face and smooth outer. So the inner face goes towards the material and the o-ring, followed by the lock nut. Now there easy to tighten down by hand. You may want to finish off with a spanner but you'll certainly get a nice tight seal. 